incoming president of the Yi Hong Foundation. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes. So we're very lucky to have Stephen come and join us on board, and we'd like to take this opportunity to actually announce who's the Golden Achievement Award recipient. So maybe we'll take this opportunity maybe for Dr. Wong to say a few words about yes. this person first, and then we'll have you say it. Well, that means he's a very well-known person. <laughs> I have the pleasure and honor of announcing to you that we have, we have chosen a very good friend of Yi Hong, a very good personal friend of mine for over 34, 35, 36 years. Um, he has done a lot of outstanding work, not only for Yi Hong, but for the whole community. He started as a school trustee, kind of left wing. <laughs> and then he became an alderman. At that time, it's called alderman. And then he was invited to join the board of Unilla Way. There was a great debate inside Unilla Way because Unilla Way was, at that time, a completely white organization. When we launched, the Unilloway campaign, we invite one of the members of the royal family from Britain to come over to officiate the kickoff event for Unilloway campaign. That was how conservative the organization was. And how could they hire someone who was considered left and an activist? And that is the merging of Gordon Cressy. He makes you a believer in common good. He has the merging to make people believe if we contribute, if we donate, if we, we, if we become volunteers, everyone is better, including ourselves who donate, who co contribute our time. So he has such merging. And uh, over the years, uh, he has contributed to a wide area, not only United Way, not only politics, but many other organizations like U of T, Ryerson, Canadian Tire Foundation, and uh, uh, Learning Partnership, uh, and most recently being the president of the George Brown Foundation. So his contribution is many. I want to leave some for me to say during the Dragon Ball evening. And uh, I'd like to join me to um, uh, giving a big hand to Gordon Cressy, my good friend over there. Thank you very much for accepting the honor. And I, I have done some st study. In fact, I met Gordon about 20 years ago when I was working for Yi Hong as a volunteer. And I saw Gordon at every Dragon Ball. His contribution is not only to the Dragon Ball, but to Yi Hong as a whole. So Dr. Wong was talking about his magic. He got the magic to get his wife to study cooking while he's fundraising for George Brown. <laughs> and I believe that Many of the fundraising idea and initiative generated by Gordon is well, are with uh, your wife's input, right? <laughs> so, in fact, next year, uh, Joseph and Pauline, we should consider inviting Joanne as our F and B advisor for the Dragon Ball, <laughs> or you can organize a Gordon Joanne fundraising dinner for us. How about that? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Now. 以往向來都很注重親情親情是怎樣我們孝敬父母怎樣回敬我們的長者 
尊敬老人、孝敬老人家，係我哋嘅職責，我哋嘅責任，就唔係一個私語。我哋係覺得老人家有佢哋嘅尊嚴，我哋亦都係要向呢方面咧，係、呃、向老人家咧係保護佢哋嘅尊嚴同埋佢哋生活，生活得好美滿嘅權利。咁呢個我好希望咧，怡康嘅宗旨咧係永遠一路一路咁樣係係傳落去嘅。咁喺我哋今次二十五屆龍宴裏面咧，我哋會睇到好多代與代之間嘅大家嘅溝通。咁多謝你各位。Thank you.